blockages how many of you guys can feel in the sky it's almost as if you can even eat it out chew it the way it's so thick that there is some kind of spiritual blockage on your life to move where it is that you need to move you can't get a job or if you're getting one it's not quite the one that you want you can't buy that car car that exists is sitting dead how many of you feel as if though despite what you have to offer you've been blocked no one understand that nobody, if at all, you're a daughter or a son of the living God can actually really truly block you. So if your car is sitting stagnated in the parking lot, dirty like mine, it's only because the Lord has not intended for it to get washed and mobilized again. Witches are not that powerful, I promise you. If you have the blood of the Lamb, if you've got the Holy Spirit dwelling inside you, you've already conquered. You are more than a conqueror in Christ Jesus. No one can block you. Only Christ can train you. So look at your blockage as a season of education. Afterwards, you're going to get out of it and you will suffer not anymore. That is a promise from the Most High. He says, after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace will restore you to everything you need, lacking in nothing. That is a promise from the word. I'm not making it up. Don't believe that witches got you. What you got is this because you got Christ.